So, hello and welcome everyone. I'm Maddles. Today, I've got game number one of a best of one coming up. And it is going to be a nice little bit of ZVP. Spawning down in the bottom left-hand position as the red Protoss player, it is a barcode. And their opponent in the top right, the blue Zerg, it's check. All cool. So, exactly what's going to be coming down here, don't know. Yonsu, quite a short rush distance, can potentially lead to some good aggression. There's a nice area for Blink Stalkers to be used, although that's not as common up against Zerg players. Um, third bases, should be this one coming down. Of course, there are rocks blocking the quick way through, which can lead to some problems for Zergs, especially if a Protoss player like comes in from here. Uh, force Fields can come down, and then this is very a tight area where Force Fields can really segregate out an army. So... That is very annoying. Now, spawning pool coming down. So that's actually quite an early pool by check. It's a temple. Maybe going for a little bit of aggression. Potentially wanting to be a little bit... Well, potentially wanting to try and punish anything greedy coming down from the barcode player. This is a ladder game. It's worth pointing out. So don't exactly know what they are going to be doing what their opponent has planned obviously being a best of one you've got to be cautious of all ins or things like that uh check actually goes for an extract trick just to go up to 11 of 10 supply doesn't have many lava well two lava banked up should have a third one just as the spawning pool finishes allowing him to make six links should get another lava now yep instantly six links coming through good timing on that build there meanwhile if we take a quick peek at what's coming down over at barco player's side it is a gateway expand uh, this is going to really aid in defending this Sim City, just because it creates some chokes and obviously a couple of wall offs. So the Zerglings don't have quite as much free reign, which means when you start mineral walking the probes around here, you can prevent the Zerglings from surrounding the probes, and that's actually the key. You don't want to give them too much surface area. So checking to expand behind this, pretty normal. Just a very aggressive play coming out of him. Delays the natural base. Obviously, if he does want to keep normal timings, then he'll have to skip gas for a while, which means he won't have speed for quite a long time. Uh, Zealot not being skipped, that's actually really good news for the barcode player. Because if you get if you skip that Zealot, then obviously this does huge amounts of damage. With the Zealot coming out, it's not quite done yet. Chrono Boost isn't available, unfortunately. And well, the pressure now coming in, this is where the barcode player does need to be a little bit cautious. Couple of probes could potentially die here. One goes down. Kind of want to kill uh, two or three probes ideally, but looks like only one. As good mineral walking allows the probes to surround the zerglings, and therefore, yeah, very little done there. Probably not worth the loss. As we can see, check is down by six workers, and his natural base delayed heavily. Whereas he's not really done much to delay currently what the barcode player is doing. So, as we can see. For the moment, uh, Mothership Core just making its way down. That pushes back all of these links. Not too much can really happen for the moment. And, well, I'd say this is a very normal game at the moment. Now it's looking good for the Protoss player at least. Of course, Czech needs to drone heavily. He's also got to be careful of a follow-up push. If I was a Protoss player in this situation, I would be incredibly tempted to throw down say two maybe three additional well definitely two more gateways off the gateway expand but I'd actually go for some four gate pressure against this build now because a zerg player having gone for that kind of opening and deal dealt very little damage has to drone heavily to make up for it they're also not going to have speed or roaches because they'll have to skip gas for a little while and therefore you want to be a bit more aggressive against the zerg in this situation you want to try and force units out of them since they aren't going to have the option to get many and keep their drone count where it should be. So for the moment, check just taking a little look. Sees that a stalker's out and two gateways are there. Uh, for the moment, it looks like he's not going to be going the way I would with the four gate pressure. Instead, just getting the three gateways down. No proxy pylon on the map for the moment. Uh, that's obviously something that would be quite essential. Just going to come in here and check. The Mothership Core taking quite a bit of damage. Needs to back away. Does not want to get taken down. Those Queen's getting some good damage down. Mothership Core will escape, which is obviously great news. Double Gas now getting taken at the natural for check. Pretty normal timing of that. A little bit later than you generally get against Protoss players if you were getting one. But for two gases, pretty much normal with this kind of opening. Uh, we do have the spine quarter coming down as well, potentially expecting the pressure. Oh, very nice. Twilight Council. Going to be some blink play most likely now. Um, of course, with Yonsu having a large cliff area, 
Blinking up here is good. It also means that you dodge this queen, uh, this spine crawler, and this awkward wall off. So you can go straight into the main and deal with some pressure. So interesting to see while we're getting down from these two, the follow-up pushes from that early aggression potentially going to be very, very strong here. The mother chicor has gone back. What I'm trying to keep a good eye on is whether or not we've got a proxy pylon. No, we do not yet. Don't think we've even got a probe at the moment. Check doing a great bit of work though, scouting around, making sure that any proxies that were to come down are going to get sniped down and he's just also doing an incredible job of creep spread too considering his opening just spreading out nicely and this is why going blink which we do now have in production is so awesome the natural base is pretty nicely walled off Rotoron, evolution chamber spine and queen a second queen in there would stop any kind of ground push for quite a while whereas if you can just blink up into the main base that obviously isn't going to do anything so Overlord did come in. Uh, I do not believe that it saw anything important. No, has not seen the blink is on its way. Doesn't really know what's coming down. Of course, Rotoron is on its way. We've also got the level 1 missile attack for the Zerg player and the lair nearly finished. Hydras are really going to be important. If he can get Hydras out in time, that's when you're going to see a few more problems arise. But Roaches are on the way. They're not going to deal very well against Blink Stalkers. Obviously, the micro potential of those Blink Stalkers is incredibly high. We take a look, three more gateways being added in, that takes us up to five, six gates, so six gateways worth of pressure here. Third base can still come down from this, check may go and actually make that third now, we've got to keep an eye out for it, he's got enough money to do so. But getting the third would massively reduce how powerful this push is going to be. So check, going to get a little look to see exactly what's going on here. Runs in with an overseer, going to scout that twilight council. Pretty late scout for it though. An infestation bit was also chosen as opposed to the Hydra Den. I'll be interested to see whether that decision is switched or not. Doesn't know how many stalkers or sentries are coming through. The third base will check ex insanely late because of the way he's opened for the moment. But it does mean his tech is still in relatively the right place. It's just whether he's going to be able to defend this. So the number of gateways is also now being scouted. This is really checked, just saying, okay, well, there's six gates. Push is going to be coming in. Unfortunately, no observers so no way to deal with this creep spread, making uh, proxy pylon placement a little bit harder. Uh, going to leave things back a little bit more, but, of course, check just pumping as many units as he possibly can, and he's actually got quite a lot out. There's a decent number of sentries there at the moment, so they do have the option to obviously force field off. This third hatchery probably will fall now. Unfortunately, it wasn't cancelled. It was finished before this push came. Going to be not impossible for Czech to keep that up. He would have had to engage at a very awkward time. So, the third getting sniped off already makes this very worthwhile for the Protoss player. Bringing the Mothership Core over as well. That is 200 energy of 200. So, can mass recall and also go for the time warp. But, interesting decision by Czech here. Just going for a counter attack. Going straight towards his opponent's natural base. These two pylons going to get taken down. You can see the barcode player will get supply blocked by losing those means no more warp -ins. that could be problematic and a little bit of indecision here should mass recall though in order to defend gets back the roaches able to just sneak on by though that means some damage going to be done in the main base we do have a couple of swarm hosts on their way through as well the stalkers blinking up into the main of the barcode player just to go and try and clean out these roaches but they're already getting a couple of worker kills and as we can see the protoss player very long work already only 38 burrows is research so that means Obviously very frustrating, no way to deal with these roaches until an observer's out, there's no robotics facility, it's only just getting started now, and that means an incredible amount of time where mining is being denied. These roaches can just pop up, snipe off a single probe and then just burrow down again, which is probably going to be the most effective way to use them, or just waiting until the barcode player decides to move his stalkers away, which all while they're here means that they're not going to be out on the map, so it serves a purpose in both senses. Now, two roaches are here, just trying to pick off a couple more probes, just going to reburrow it up. They will be forced to unburrow once an observer's out, but that's a long way away still. Very frustrating having to keep your units back here. Also, it's worth noting the roaches do give nice little bits of vision. Get a quick little look, know the robotics facilities in progress. I believe a sentry was also sniped down there. So currently, check has lost more by 700 resources. That's not too much, it's not a considerable problem. Uh, decent number of swarm hosts now down too, up at 9. Going to be going up to 12. That's very good. These roaches could actually snipe off a couple more probes now. Actually should do so because obviously the units have backed away and the first observer about to be out. So 
These roaches are taking some damage. There's no point leaving them buried. Might as well try and kill a couple of probes. And that is exactly what they're going to be doing. Most of the stalkers have to back away there, which is very frustrating. A few more probes going down for the barcode Protoss player. Incredibly frustrating. There are still two roaches down in the natural base. But I suspect they will be revealed shortly. Where is the observer? Uh, it is sitting in the main at the moment. The next rally point up quite high. All the stalkers now coming down ready to deal with these two roaches. But in total, 14 workers killed by check so far. Giving him a solid worker lead. He's also got a good number of roaches around the map. His swarm host count getting very high. No enduring locust researched. That is a mistake. Um, I don't often go that bold to say that something's definitely a mistake when there are pro players involved. But not having... Inf there we go, it is getting researched now. Most of his attention just focused elsewhere. But having... 15 swarm hosts out and not enduring locusts isn't ideal. Creep spread also really good uh, when you are going swarm hosts to make those locusts so much quicker. And the problem that's occurring in the moment for the Protoss player is the lack of splash. No robotics bay has been researched, obviously no Templar archives either. And without AoE damage, dealing with locusts is nigh on impossible, uh, especially with this many swarm hosts. The stalkers will just get annihilated if they start coming through. They cannot engage. The problem for Checo is his third it hasn't been up for that long after he was sniped off previously. He's a little bit supply blocked, but now the Locust starting to do some nose damage. And of course, anything Locust kill, as you all know, is a perfect trade because you lose nothing for it. Blink Stalkers are going to head up towards the main base of Check. They can get straight up there. If the Locust can't get back in time, that could be a problem. No Blink up at the moment by the Protoss player, just wanting to basically dare it for the moment. And this is giving him. Time to take a third base in an interesting location. Not taking the third in the normal position, but instead taking what would quite often be the sixth base, actually. So hoping that it will go unscouted. If it does get scouted, it's going to be very hard to hold. Uh, robotics bait is nearly finished. It's 45 seconds or 65 seconds done. Meanwhile, a little Zeta warping getting cleaned up very easily by a lot of roaches there. The important thing for the Blink Stalkers is to not try and engage up against the small hosts. That's where you can run into some massive issues. So, for the moment, we do just see the Stalker still just trying to get a couple of kills there. Trying to take out damage, or trying to get any roaches or anything that actually costs resources whenever possible. Sentry goes down. The Sentry, of course, can't blink away, which is the problem. The Locust still dealing some nice damage. And this is where the barcode player is going to be losing significant amounts of resources. Beautiful, actually perfect force field. Zone out a lot of this army. So while the Sentries will go down, the Stalkers are able to pick apart a couple of roaches. But they've got to blink away fairly quick. There's also a good number of Hydras now. This is such a horrible force to try and deal with, with only Blink Stalkers. And those forces really made the best of a very bad situation. So, Roach is still chasing down a lot of Stalkers. Not necessarily the best move because these Stalkers should be able to trade against a small group of Roaches, but the Hydras following up will make things a lot harder. So, still, Full of Retreat coming down. Third base is now up for the Barcode player, although no probe transferred. But unfortunately, the Swarm Hosts are advancing forward. And once that seed starts, without a single Colossus or a single High Templar yet down, it's going to make it incredibly hard to actually engage against it. So the Stalker's in full retreat. The Swarm Hosts are just going to keep pushing now. There's going to be wave after wave after wave. There are three Observers down, so at least there's vision of them. But with the Hydras and Roaches there too, that's extra damage to tank up. The Swarm Host is going to just... Keep making locusts pretty much endlessly until they're killed or unburrowed. And this is just infuriating as a Protoss player in this situation. Just slowly losing stalkers. You can see that the resources lost are going to go massively in favour of the Zerg player. Great concave as well, currently for check. And with the stalker count diminishing, it's now 20, well, 37 army supply to 115. The swarm hosts, though, are worth way more than that. So supply efficient. And, well, what we're seeing now is, of course, the Hydralisks just start pushing forward. Hydras up against Blink Stalkers, very effective. And GG's called. That means Czech took the game and came back from that, well, he started off with some very early pressure that didn't do much and then came back from that. So, nice play there. If you enjoyed, like the video, leave a cool comment, and, of course, subscribe. If you're on my stream, well, make sure that you follow and stay tuned.